we have been able to just about, in fact just today, sort out the one from the Barclays. So we were working on that and we've been able to trace it where it has been, um, where the breakdown was, no? where it occurred. And so we are hoping now to get those funds in to us today because the funds didn't reach us. In the case of the British Army, their pension, my recollection, my understanding is that the pension actually comes through Scotia Bank and then on to First Caribbean back then. We've checked with Scotia and the funds have actually not been received by them. So we are waiting for those to be received. I know Scotia is working on it and they are in touch with their offices to try to understand, okay, what, what route it took and where the breakdown is occurring. All right. We do not think we are going to have, we believe the one for the Barclays pensioners have now been addressed. Uh, we now need to address the one for the um, British Army personnel. In terms of, of the Barclays pensioners, would you be able to tell us, a lot of people don't understand how money moves yes, in the system, yes. would you be able to give us an idea of what was the delay or what caused it? Actually, to be very honest, it moved through, if I'm not mistaken, it had to move like about three banks. Um, in doing that, information from one was left off. That was critical to getting it to us. So we had, we had them address it and we went back to the, or to the source and we pointed it out to them. We're in discussion with them now. Unfortunately, they are six hours ahead of us. And so I have to wait until tomorrow morning to complete it, right? But we've been talking with them and we have now identified what is the cause and what happened with that one. In the case of the British Army, we still have not yet identified where the breakdown occurred.